Uh, hi, this is Paul Mazursky. I have with me an actor, a poet, a singer, a photographer, and a man from Uranus. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Leonard Nimoy is an old friend of mine. <laughs> We've known each other for, I guess, a long time, long 50 time. years. Yeah. Here is uh, a shot of you and Bill Shatner, yeah. who happens to be Jewish. Almost everyone I know is Jewish. <laughs> I don't know why, every, everybody. Or pretending to or be. Or pretending to be. Here's two Jews from outer space. Two Jews, they just came back from Uranus. This is very early. And here's an episode where the two Jews Played two Nazis yeah. in our space. Yeah, that's just the Nazi Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah we well. know them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Now here's the rabbi who gave Leonard. How do you call this? That. What do you yeah. call that? This is a gesture it's that I saw good. when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I must have been eight or nine years old the first time I ever remember seeing it in the synagogue, and they're chanting. It's like a, like, a, like a revival meeting, uh -huh. but they're all shouting. They're not good singers, but they're mm. shouting this, this kind of musical thing. Uh, ay, 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 they're doing this wailing thing. Yeah. And one guy, a lead guy, kind of yells out, and they all join him. They're all yelling, you got, you got the idea. I don't have to do any more of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my father said, don't look. So sure enough, everybody's got their eyes covered or they got their talits over their heads. And I'm, I was eight or nine years old, and I peeked. I want to see what's going on. And I saw these guys doing this with their hands toward the congregation, and their heads were covered. It was very mysterious. And uh, I didn't have any idea what was going on, but I was fascinated with this gesture. <clears throat> I learned how to do it. Practiced it till I could do it any time, any place I could give you that. My favorite story about Leonard and myself when Leonard got the part of Spock, he called me and said, Paul, it's Leonard. I have a problem, can I talk to you? They want me to go to Dallas, Texas and open a supermarket. Give me 10,000 bucks. They fly me there and they fly me back. All I have to do is get there and say welcome. Give me 10,000. I don't want to do it because they want me to wear the ears. I'm not going to wear the ears. Well, I'm not going to wear those fucking ears all the time. You think I'm crazy? I said, I'll only be Spock. So I said, look, I have, a, I have a solution. Give me the money. I'll split the money with you. I'll take five Gs. I'll wear the ears, and you got the money, and we're set. Leonard says, when do I leave? And he, he was gone. It's a true story. It's a true story. Leonard Nimoy, my friend, great to see you. Good to see you, Paul. Really I'm so happy. Leonard has given me these ears. These are valuable, Paul. Valuable ears. Yeah. Of, if he wore them. I don't want to see them on eBay. No, no, they won't. <laughs> on eBay, that's an idea. No, 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 no. 12, 13, 07. Wow. And that's who, when I wore them. That's, that's the day, the day that I wore this. Yeah. The day he wore the ears, yeah. which changed his life. His wife is not too happy about the fact <laughs> that he sleeps with the fucking ears. You don't know that. He wants to be sure Such that, a he liar. Still, that he's Spock. <laughs> I am Spock. I am. No, he doesn't.